everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you my favorite book. And this book is not just like any other book, it's a fun book and it's kind of a book that's gonna help you discover who you are. And I like those kind of stuff. And one more funny thing is this book actually drove someone away. There was this sort of personality stuff, like a 16 personality, and so I am an INTJ, which is kind of, they say it's a rare personality. And there's this person who is an INFP, which is also rare. And so it's like, you're rare, I'm rare, why don't we see each other? And I'm like, sure, like, why not? Like, it would be interesting to see someone who's also rare, although it's not an INTJ, but why not? And so I'm like, okay, he shows me this game that I don't know how to play and he was like, just play it. It's a rare game and it's a fun game and whatever. And I'm like, I don't play for fun. I play to win. And so I ended up not playing the game and I was like, why don't you play my game? You know, I have this book, we play it together. It's gonna be fun. And so I pull this out and he ran away from me. <laughs> he was super scared to like know about himself, I guess. Or he was scared for me to know what he really is. Anyway, this is a Cocology book. I have the second book and I've been playing it alone. It's fun. I like discovery, self-discovery because I believe that if you know yourself, you become a better person. You need to know yourself in order to know how you work and how to control yourself better and how to be a better person and how to interact with others better. And you would understand why you're acting this way or that way in certain situations. And if you know more about how you work and you study how other people work, I believe that this world is gonna be a better place. Anyway, you and I are gonna play a game. We're gonna play this game, and no, don't run away from me. Not happening, okay? But you're gonna know more about me, I'm gonna know more about you. Or rather, you would know more about you. All right, so there are rules in this game, and here are eight tips for playing Cocology. The first one is say the first thing that pops into your head. Okay, so don't hesitate or agonize over your choice of words. Second, play with other people if you can, but I play it by myself and I'm playing with you guys. Third, don't try to predict the answer. Fourth, be honest to yourself. Five, be prepared. Sixth, don't read ahead, that's cheating. Seven, Watch people through actions, including your own. And eight, keep an open mind. That's very important. Okay, so we'll move on to the first part. First question and answer portion. It's page 17 on this book. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you guys. When is a door not a door? It isn't every day that you have the time to take a leisurely stroll around the neighborhood. A stroll without purpose or destination. A chance to stretch the legs. Let the mind wander and get reacquainted with some old familiar sights. On your way, perhaps, you'd stop in a cozy coffee shop, explore the paths of a favorite park, or take the opportunity to do some window shopping, which by the way, I hate. Then, there are those days when it's enough just to let your feet decide your course. So, picture yourself on a stroll through town. The day is beautiful and you're half lost in a daydream. You turn onto a street that you've never been before and as you walk past a beautiful house set somewhat back from the street. Pausing a moment to admire this lovely home, you notice the door is half open. Why is the door ajar? You got three choices. First, the house is being burglarized. Second, the owner forgot to close it. Third, the owner is inside sweeping out the entranceway. I'm gonna read to you the meaning of each answer and I'm gonna tell you guys what my answer is, okay? So, the explanation. I think it's better if I 
put on the link and you click on it and then so it's not gonna be cheating and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you the answer and I think I might do just that. I'm gonna put up a separate link that you can click down in the description so you will know the meaning of the answer. All right, but first, this is the key. Key to when is the door not a door. So basically, doors have a twofold significance. They may be passageways, but they can be barriers as well. In particular, the front door of a house represents its first line of defense. All the stands between its inhabitants and the uncertainties of the world outside. By imagining as open a door that should normally be closed, you envision a scenario of vulnerability and exposure. Or on a subconscious level, the reason you imagine for the door being open is linked to the ways that you leave yourself open and expose your own weakness to others. 